beauty or traditional or a mix of both. This is just one of the decisions that a bride-to-be must make. That's where a bridal show can come in very handy. And here are some of the ideas on offer in Durban. Kajal went window shopping at the city's exhibition centre. The term My Big Fat Indian Wedding was coined purely because Indian and Eastern weddings are usually large, consists of many consecutive functions and can be quite elaborate. Well, all this takes months of planning and Durban's biggest Eastern bridal fair is at your service. Let's take a look. Every aspect of a wedding was on show, with displays of towering cakes, lavish table settings and everything needed to create a nuptial fantasy. From a neon forest to a digital disco dance floor and classical jewellery, the organisers included something for everyone. Mr. Pragji, the bridal fair is in its 16th year and you've been part of it from its inception. What is the secret to keep it going? To continue to provide quality and whilst it's for a charitable cause, people must get value for their money and they must come back the next year. The fashion shows have evolved into entertainment extravaganzas devised by choreographer Smitha Maraj. Smitha ji, tell us more about the concept and how did you combine fashion and dance? Well, this year has been quite a challenge because we had pre two previous successful shows that were totally different. So we've presented with coming up with something that was unique. So we. Uh, kind of introduce things during the fashion show that would sh represent the elements as well as product the production team sort of great visuals that would complement them and in terms of dance we try to bring it through dance in you know the space element the air and water and so it's been very challenging but interesting we've incorporated uh, quite a few styles new styles to us acrobatia crumb kathak folk dances um, and modern in Bolly, normal Bollywood. So we had to source out costumes that would uh, suit each particular, you know, uh, dance style. The official designer for this year's event was Pakistan-based Nida Azwar. Tell us more about the collection you have on show today. Today what we're showcasing is shades of blues, ivories, a bit of rust and burnt orange. Um, I specialize in hand embroideries. So you'll see a wide range of very intricate hands, Zardozi work, thread work with Dasa Swarovski crystals, uh, very nice pure silk fabric, chiffons, organzas. Uh, we do a lot of in-house digital printing, so you'll see a mix of those as well. What are some of the, the trends at the moment? Hem lines have gone higher for more casual wear, but for formal wear, for wedding wear, we're still going long and flowy. Um, of course, you have your classic narkalis and things like that, but we give a modern twist by changing the color palette, making it into a halter. So all those little uh, twists we bring around in the traditional garment to make it fun and a bit more fusion. The silver screen has set the bar for today's high-profile occasions, and every wedding needs a Bollywood moment to get the guests tweeting. The Eastern Bridal Fair was nothing short of spectacular. From food to fashion to dance, it's in its 16th year and I can assure you that it will be around for many, many years to come.